Today I'm reading A Lion in Paris by Beatrice Alemania. He was a big lion, a young, curious and lonely lion. He was bored at home on the grasslands and so one day he set off to find a job, love and a future. He arrived in Paris by train, without any luggage. It was the first time he had been in a big city. Naturally, it was a little scary. The lion waited to see if he would terrify anyone. He wondered if people would start screaming, if they would step aside in horror as he passed, or if they would pursue him with rifle shots. The people were hurrying around with a strange kind of sword under their arms, but nobody thought about attacking him. That surprised him. Puzzled, the lion went down into the metro. The people on the platform hardly even glanced at him. So then he roared very loudly to make them turn round and look at him. More than anything, the lion liked to be noticed, and he thought it was very sad to be ignored. When he went out into the street, it started to rain. That made him think of his lovely sunny grasslands, and he felt sad. He turned all grey and shiny like the, like the roofs around him. In the middle of the square, he saw a huge factory with workers going up and down in, tr in a transparent pipe. The sun came out again, making the building explode into a thousand stars of light. He stood there gaping at it. The lion walked along a river, a river that cut the city in half, and the river smiled at him like a mirror. At last, a girl noticed him, and her eyes followed him for a while with a loving, tender look. The lion's heart was beating very fast as he continued his long walk. At the top of an endless flight of steps, he saw a white castle. Looks like a cream cake, doesn't it? said an old lady, smiling at him. Grrr replied the lion. They went back down all the steps together. Then he came to an enormous iron tower and he trembled with fear. He climbed right to the top and the people down below looked like ants. He absolutely loved it. The city had appeared so dreary and frightening and grey in the morning, now seemed to be smiling at him with all its windows. At a big crossroad, he stopped abruptly. There was a beautiful plinth standing in front of him. The lion climbed up onto it, put his two paws together and gave a loud roar of joy. Then hundreds of cars tooted their horns to welcome him. This is the place for me, thought the lion, grinning. He looked into the distance and decided to stay perfectly still and happy. The end.